All right, guys. So usually we see tech kind of go through trends. And since the company Nothing came out with the Nothing phone and the Nothing earbuds, and they came out with that like translucent or see-through type of tech, we've seen a lot of companies kind of go that route. And so today, Soundpeats has also gone that route, but they've decided to go uh, with the option of having some different colors, but you can see through the case, you can see through the earbuds. Uh, and the pair that we're gonna check out today is the Soundpeats Clear. Now, it is a very inexpensive pair of earbuds because they only retail for $29. That's without any codes, that's without any discounts. It's just straight up $29. And usually in the $29 price range, you really can't expect a whole lot. Uh, usually sound quality isn't that great. And I was quite surprised with what they were able to do and keep these in that price range. So we're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna talk about what all comes inside the box and see why I think these are definitely worth the $29 price tag. So like I said, it does come in some different colors. In fact, it's available in four different colors, which I have all four here. They have it available in black. They also have it available in white. They have it available in beige. And then they also have it available in blue, which I'm kind of fond of the blue, which that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. But one of the things I do want to point out, one thing I wish they didn't do, on the stem of each earbud, it has that saying that they've been using. Uh, it's even on the case of the opera earbuds. And it says, hear your imagination. I would have liked to have seen it just say sound peats down the stem, just keep it clean. Uh, I'm not a big fan when companies utilize a saying and they slap it on the products themselves, but that's just personal preference. Now, as far as some of the tech that it has, it does have Bluetooth 5.3. Uh, it also has a gaming mode. So when you mix Bluetooth 5.3 with a gaming mode, you can pretty much count on the fact that it's going to cancel out pretty much any kind of lag with movies, videos, and games. So that is a nice plus. But do keep in mind if you're gonna use it in gaming mode, uh, it's going to kill your battery faster and you can't necessarily get as far away from the device uh, once you have it in gaming mode. Now the drivers are 12 millimeter drivers. Uh, this pair also works with Soundpeats app, although that's not anything special. It allows you to go through their little hearing test so that it has an adaptive EQ. Uh, there's also some pre-built EQ options or you can just customize the EQ settings the way that you want and again that's not something you normally see in a $29 pair of earbuds. Now moving back to looking at the case and the earbuds themselves uh, the overall footprint of these is pretty small they're not a large case uh, they're actually not large earbuds uh, the case is clear up front on the bottom you have your USB-C input and then when you take out the earbuds you'll notice they are a stem style design but it is not a huge or large obnoxious style stem it's pretty short uh, so I don't really mind the look of these. They're very comfortable. Now they do use touch controls and I am happy to say that out of the box you get control over everything. And that's a huge plus because it doesn't allow you to go in the app and switch these around. Uh, so you have your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards, your volume control, and you can switch it into that gaming mode all from the earbuds themselves. Now, as far as what all you get inside the box, it does come with three sets of silicone ear tips. Uh, it does come with a USB-C cable, which you are gonna need to charge these. Uh, these are not Qi wireless charging capable, and in this price range, that's kind of to be expected. Uh, but the battery life on these is actually pretty decent. On a full charge, you're gonna get about seven hours on the earbuds, and you're going to get about 40 hours total using that case. And I, again, I'm pretty impressed with that kind of battery life in the price range. Now, uh, as far as using them outdoors, they do come in with an IPX4 rating, uh, which really just means it's protected against splashes and rain and sweat and things like that. Uh, it's just not one of those that you'd want to drop into water. But if you are going to use these for taking phone calls, it's using dual mics and it's also using environmental noise canceling to try to block out, you know, some of your surroundings while you're on phone calls. And I was pretty impressed here as well. Usually in this price range, mics sound pretty bad, uh, but this one did a good job of picking up my voice and also doing a good job of blocking out my surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the Sound Peats Clear. And for a $30 earbud, I'm really impressed at how well it picks up my voice. Now it does sound a little bit digital and there is some warmth in my voice, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test for the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. 
So now let's talk about the scent. Now I said they use 12 millimeter drivers. They're actually 12 millimeter bio composite drivers and they're pretty powerful, especially when it comes to that low end. It's not trying to give you like tight bass. It's not trying to make it fast. It's leaving it a little loose so it has that subwoofer type feel, but they also did a good job of kind of keeping the mids and the treble separated and not getting destroyed by that low end. Now the mids, for the most part, it feels like they leave it alone. They don't try to push it forward, uh, but I never had any issues with male or female vocalists. Uh, guitar tones sounded really nice, and the treble also has a really good amount of detail now it's not a bright treble it's not near being harsh uh, but you can tell that they definitely boosted it a little bit so that it kind of compares with the bass being boosted the way that it is uh, so it is a dynamic sounding earbud uh, it has plenty of thump the bass Reminded me a lot of Sound Pete's Sonic earbuds, which those were made specifically to kind of gear towards bass. Uh, so if you are a bass head, I know this is going to make a lot of those people happy. And if you do like bass, but you don't like to just sacrifice everything else, this is a really good pair in this price range. Now, when it comes to the soundstage and sound imaging, don't expect anything special here. It doesn't you know, make you sound like you're in a very large room. It kind of left me feeling like I was in a medium-sized room. Uh, but being able to tell where different sounds are coming from, this pair had no issue with. So overall, I mean, you know, for $29, if you don't mind sacrificing features, I mean, there's no noise canceling, there's no Find My Earbuds, there's no Qi wireless charging, there's no smart sensors, there's none of that. But the $29, you're paying for the sound, and, and the sound is punching well above that $29 price tag. I really like the look of these, and I like the direction that Sound Pete's is going. It used to be that it was a black box with no artwork or anything on the outside. Uh, the earbuds always kind of had like a generic stock look to them, and since the beginning, they have just come so far. I I I'm a huge fan of the look of these. I'm a huge fan of the sound signature that these have, and I think at $29, there's not really going to be a lot of competition out there. But guys, that wraps up my video on the brand new Sound Pete's Clear. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.